A dog walker helped a woman escape an attempted kidnapping in the West Loop. The woman is okay, and the suspects got away. Eric Rung is live at Adams and Sangamon with the latest. Eric. Well, good morning. I was able to talk with that dog walker a short time ago. He tells me that this all happened in front of the building that you see here behind me. He was walking a dog across the street. Now, he didn't want us to use his name for obvious reasons, but when he saw what was happening, he knew something just wasn't right. Out of the uh, corner of my eye, um, I saw like a car slow down and which, you know, not abnormal, but a guy got out and approached a girl that was walking, a um, young lady that was walking down the um, sidewalk, and I could tell that it just wasn't right, uh, that she was backing off. I started yelling and ran across the street um, and just didn't hesitate. And he looked surprised, kind of like a deer in the headlights, and so I knew it was not right. And so he went to get in the car, and I pulled out my pepper spray, um, and you know, sprayed him and it got all the way into the car and was hoping to slow him down at least. But uh, they drove off. But thankfully, um, you know, she was okay, the young ladies that was there, and nothing worse happened. Now, he says he's carried bear spray with him for at least five years and doesn't leave home without it. All of this happening around 7.30 yesterday morning in the 200 block of South Sagamon. He says the young woman was in her 30s and very shaken up. The car was a red four-door sedan. He wasn't able to get the make or model, however. He also says inside that car were three more men. He did say the man who grabbed the woman was likely in his 20s, very slight build, and had a mask on, but had pulled it down when he approached the woman. We saw police out here a short time ago talking with one of the leaders of the West Loop Community Organization. She says there will be more patrols in the West Loop after this incident. We spoke with her a short time ago as well. It's very disconcerting for me. It's very upset, uh, upsetting for me. And I think that I just hope that people look out for one another more and more. Now we'll have much more with the dog walker on the midday news here. Also, once again, police have no one in custody and they have not put out a good description of the suspects that they are looking for as well. We are live in the West Loop this morning. I'm Eric Rump, WGN News.